Hey everybody, this is DJ Danny Tenaglia from New York City and you are watching Billboard. We're here at the Red Bull Guest House with Billboard. I'm Zell McCarthy and sitting next to me is the legendary Danny Teneglia. Danny, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thank you for that intro. <laughs> How's your Miami so far? It's great. I love it. And uh, this is my 28th year participating in this uh, conference. You have a new compilation coming out on Balance, the Australian right. DJ series. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about that and what went into making it, what we can hear on it. Well, this particular uh, compilation, I'm going to be focusing on what I feel that I represent when I do uh, sets mm, locally and abroad, but it's more of a sophisticated, intelligent kind of techno vibe that uh, I think people are championing at uh, places like uh, Berghain in Berlin. And the reason why I'm strictly staying focused to that one is because people know me as a New York DJ that can play very deep likes of Paradise Garage as well as very hard if I wanted to and I think that I I'm one that I don't do much with SoundCloud I don't put out many compilations the ones I have put out were often deep in nature choice classics and the last time I did a compilation was in 2008 which was futurism and it was pretty much a modern tech thing but this time I want to go straight up full-on energy just to show people that I could take you there as well and that if you expect to come hear me at a festival or an, a big event where they bring me to in these different cities and countries that this is more of what you're going to expect. Yeah. And they should know that when it comes to the end of the night, the last hour or so, I will take them home in a, you know, a more warm-hearted kind of soulful <laughs> vibe. So much has changed since you started uh, yeah. your DJing career, especially yeah. in New York. What are some of the things that you like most about what's going on right now in dance music, particularly with the EDM crowd that's that's coming right. into it for the first time? Well, you know, at first it's, you know, there's still a lot of people that there's a part of it that might irk us because of so much of this main stage material is very uh, immature in nature, some of the melodies. And, uh, you know, it just kind of boggles me that it, it's so uh, global but at the same time, I'm not bothered by it because I know that it's a, a phase and that eventually these people are going to progress from what's introducing them to dance music to other forms of dance music, whether it be dubstep or techno or deep house. As long as they know that there's more out there than just you know fist pumping music, mm -hmm. then I'm happy that it's in existence because I think it, it is bringing life again to nightclubs and venues and smaller and larger with showing appreciation for techno and different forms of it so it's not just about edm as as far as a, a musical nature thing right yeah absolutely so, so you played a boat party the other night yeah. with a few of your friends yeah i heard about that what else do you have coming up this weekend while you're in town well uh wednesday was the boat party that was really cool and yesterday i played with uh, carl cox and uh, nicole mudabar at the rally hotel uh tonight i'm off and sunday i'll be doing what i've pretty much been doing for years uh something that's more of an annual closing party mm -hmm. type event we used to use the venue score on lincoln road but they had recently closed and to my advantage i'm, I'm happy to say that they taken over the club that was so legendary in the 90s known as liquid okay yeah and then in uh, as of recent years it became called S sweet so now it's the whole building score is downstairs the upstairs venue is called trade and it's still like sh designed the, the way liquid was and it's honestly probably by far my favorite venue on miami beach yeah because it's got an old school raw underground vibe it's not about all the led screens and glamour and you know, sparkling bottles walking through the room. So I'm really looking forward to playing there Sunday. Nice. I'll play all night long and I'll do a form of New York style classics, Chicago, and then I'll drop in a lot of new stuff as well. But it's always expect the unexpected, a be yourself kind of party. Well, I love the be yourself attitude. Yeah. And I love that someone who's coming to your show, whether they're, they've been a fan of yours for 30 years or <clears throat> coming for the very first time, they're going to get an experience and an education. Yeah, yeah, I really try to like, you know, keep the roots of what, uh, my initial New York, you know, vibe was with 
not only where I used to play, but with the places that inspired me, right. whether it was the Paradise Garage or the Loft or Zanzibar or so many places, including a colorful side of things from the Studio 54 and on the ground and, you know, limelight. So gay, straight, black, white, young, gold, everybody's welcome. And, you know, as long as there's respect, that's what Be Yourself is all about. I love that. And that's the true spirit of, yeah, of yeah, the yeah. scene, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, Danny, thank you so much for talking Oh, thank with you. Us. My pleasure. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. All right.